Are you guys ready to roll? All right, so um, I want to tell you guys about something that I've been running into uh, a lot recently. Um, I've seen it in a lot of our clients. Um, you know, my friend, uh, I saw him over Thanksgiving. He like, you know, started a business where he's uh, selling chalk for your hands for like CrossFit or for mountain uh, or for rock climbing. And what he did is he's selling, you know, he, he just spun up his business as quick as he could and he's got like this app he's got this website that's like a build your own website and then he's got this like payment processing system that goes to a different domain completely right and then he can put a subdomain on that but then still he would run into these google analytics issues that we're going to talk about here all right and ultimately what we're trying to do is get awesome uh reporting within analytics so have you guys ever seen where you're looking at like goals or you're looking at the traffic sources report um, and it's like direct, none, or, you know, referral. You see a lot of referral traffic and the referral traffic is of itself. Like it's like, you know, webmechanics.com slash referral. Have you guys seen this? You guys know what I'm talking about? It's called self-referral, right? And the self-referral is not good because you don't know where the traffic is actually coming from. Dax, you, you following? Okay, I'm gonna make sure. So, um, so check this out. Let me show you guys. I got a task from Camille asking me to add a link to the Alt Health homepage from the header of these landing pages, right? So let's go to these landing pages, but let's give us give ourselves a source of Arsham, whatever. That way we'll know it's us, right? If my internet works. And now, let me show you guys like how to tell what our source medium and campaign are. Can you guys all see this? I'll zoom in uh, if needed. So we go to inspect element, resources, right? And actually, let me put this down here for you. And then we'll go to the info. All right, so check this out. Can you guys see? Yeah. A little tricky. Yep. So, this is the the cookie info that dot althealthassociates dot com. UTMZ. UTMZ is uh, analy analytics cookie that tells you the source medium and campaign. This is for classic analytics, universal, all those changes. Son of a bitch. So check it out. You see that? UTM, C, R, T, S, R, whatever. There's Arsham, right? And then you know we can keep kind of opening this up. And you'll see not set uh, for the, I think this is the medium and what have you. So, so you see that, right? You guys see this? So CN is campaign and MD is medium. Right? Okay, check this out now. So let's say I came to this landing page via paid, paid traffic, right? And then I, I clicked the, the uh, logo here and I went to the main site and then I converted. Okay? What would you expect to see in analytics? What would you want to see in analytics? Right? You'd want to know that that's a paid conversion. Right? Does anyone agree with that or does someone does anyone want it to be something different? What do you think you'd see, given that we're having this talk right now and I'm gonna tell you that that's not what you're gonna see? Yep. And I'll show you. So everyone know what I'm doing right now? Who does not know what I'm doing right now? Can't see? So I'm adding the link manually. Alright, so now this links to Alt Health, right? Yes. So let's click on that. 
All right, so now we're at www.allhealthassociates.com. Check out the resources. Check out this, UTMZ. Source is what? Info.allhealth. And the campaign or this referral, if we could open this up even more, we'd probably see the medium is referral as well. So yeah, see that? So in analytics now, I am now a referral. I'm not a paid visitor. That's a problem, right? That's not what we want. Okay. So does anyone know how to fix this? I know you know. <laughs> yep. Can you exclude self-referral? Yeah, you can. Um, but that's not the, the best way to do it because then if it doesn't know, then, you know, if analytics thinks that this is a referral, and you're saying don't show me traffic for self referrals, then it doesn't know what to call that session. I'm not sure what it does with the session at that point. It may disclude it completely, um, like you're filtering it out, like filtering an IP address, uh, or it may set it to direct. I'm not entirely sure, but there is a setting um, within analytics that's like the you know, disclude self referrals. Let's see if we can find that real quick. But does anyone know where that is? I think it's, huh? So we can read up on how this works and what it does, but ultimately what you want to do is, of course they're not going to show it here, uh, so here's a, an awesome resource, tracking multiple domains with GA.js. This is, GA.js is the um, classic analytics, okay? So what we're trying to do here is track one domain and its subdomains. So we click in here and it's like, okay, everything is example pet store, example pet store, example pet store, dogs, cats, whatever, right? So this is what we need. Has anyone seen this before? The developers in the back have seen it. Perfect. So what this does is it sets the cookie domain name to examplepetstore.com without the info dot without the www dot without any preceding uh, subdomain right and then what that does is it allows you because remember when we came in here you see this cookie is www dot whereas um, if we go back this cookie is at info dot so analytics uses first party uh, cookies First party cookies means that the domain that the cookie is set at is the top level domain and can't be shared with other top level domains. Now, if you don't tell analytics that this is a subdomain of my of my you know top level domain, it's going to assume that you want it set at the subdomain level. And that's the problem here. Is that it automatically sets it at info dot whatever or whatever dot whatever, right? Everyone gets it? Looks like it. Yes. There is. There is. Um, it involves tracking every link. So, tracking multiple domains, multiple domains, and its subdomain. And subdomain. So, you click on this guy. And these instructions will show you how to do it. Um, you need to set the allow linker to true here, right? And then you also need to, on a click, push to where it's going. So like this right now, the href is that, but then your GAQ push is going there. And then what happens? It, this is the same, or should be. I don't know why it's dot HTML, not you know, not just slash intro. But if you actually set this up, what you'll see is in the URL itself, it'll pass the UTMA, UTMB, UTMZ cookies in the URL itself, and then it'll it'll act like it's the same.
think you can you could set up a jQuery to all. What do you guys think back there? Yeah, I mean, you see the return false here, so you'd have to you'd have to definitely you know that return false prevents a default, right? Prevents a default. Of, yeah, it does. It does. But what it does is it appends the uh, the cookie info first to the back of this URL and then sends it over there. And then once you get to this URL, he is also set up to allow linker, set allow linker. So then if that's set to true, then in analytics, before it tracks the page view, it's going to look in, uh, for the cookie info in the, in the Azure spa. Cool. Awesome. So that's that. Literally, that simple. It's a set domain name. Um, and the way you do it is you don't put a dot here. You don't put a dub, dub, dub here. You just put hoplevelDomain.com. So webmechanics.com. Not dot web mechanics or anything like that. And then, then you can share uh, the same sessions, the same users across all subdomains in one analytics view. Any questions? Okay. Now with Universal, yes, Ryan. Yeah. Okay, so Universal. Let's see. So what Universal will tell you, ignoring self-referrals, we should probably read this. <laughs> Let me try to find this. Uh, yeah. It's right. It's right. It's this parameter right here. Um, but usually we got to come here and find it. All right, so this is how you do it with, with them, or with Universal Analytics, is on the GA create, you pass this cookie domain in there. And there's other parameters as well, all right? Now, this is interesting. Here, here's something really interesting from Google. Automatic cookie configuration. Automatic cookie domain configuration simplifies cross-domain tracking implementation by automatically writing cookies to the highest level domain possible when the auto parameter is used. So this, you do like this. When used on the www example.co.uk, it will try to write to the following order, co.uk example dot www. It will fail to write on co.uk, but succeed on example dot, right? So it's basically saying that if you do it like this, like just say auto as a third parameter of the creation of the GA object, then you don't need to do the set domain name because, huh? Right, right. Now, what's interesting about this is I haven't tested it, admittedly. But what's interesting about it is if you scroll down further, multiple trackers on the same domain. Look, configuration for one dot example and two dot example. They're suggesting that you explicitly set the cookie domain name in both examples. So why right above it is telling me that it's going to do it automatically and then below it is telling me to explicitly do it. But it's not though. The profiles are the same. It's all good. I mean I understand you're trying to like justify you know the documentation and I would like to too but you know in this case it's it's just weird but so now if you see a lot of self referrals in analytics and they're coming from a subdomain you now know why and you know you now know the first step in going to fix it right and then we all we don't need to talk about why this is important it's obviously important because of uh, you know getting accurate tracking and attribution to your conversions Right? Especially in paid, I would think. So in my buddy's example, for instance, he had his website, then he had um here I'll just show you.
So he's got his sight. You come, you're like, let's see the blends. Cool. I need the unicorn dust, right? Look where I go when I click this. I go to app.moonclerk, right? And then I fill this all out. And he had analytics on this app.moonclerk, but then what did his analytics read? Is all, you know, everything is direct. Because when you're coming to app.moonclerk, you're coming directly there. I killed, I killed his like multiple reporting and then so let's see December 1st of that let's compare so direct like died off where it used to be like super high and now organic is getting the attribution that it deserves and CPC is getting the attribution that it deserves and Facebook is didn't really change it that much, but you get the idea. Like this dpmclimbing.com, he would have never seen this, you know, before helping him out with this because it doesn't, it wouldn't show up. It would all show up as direct, right? So he's over there spending on Facebook, spending on AdWords. He's like, I have no idea if I'm getting ROI. I see people clicking it, but I don't know if they're buying. So what I did with him specifically is have it after they complete the purchase on Moonclerk, they get redirected back to his site, right? Back to a thank you page on his site. And then that way, now they're back on, their, on his site, on that thank you page, we set the goal up on that thank you page, and the original you know, source medium campaign or traffic information that led them to the site to begin with is attributed the conversion. Instead of putting the conversion on app.moonclerk, because that's always going to be direct. Make sense? That's all I have, unless you guys have questions.